internet, this is Sukalam Yor again at Cosplay Genie and today we're going to show you one of the props that's almost used by every cosplay in their life. You need to make your own sword and we decided to make this huge sword uh, dedicated from Sif from the Thor comics and we've made the curves and we've made, given it this shiny chrome look and we've kept it quite simple. So I'm going to show you the basic step on how to make a sturdy and when I say sturdy I mean non-flimsy can take a beating and you can actually have a sword fight as well with it. So let's see how to work on a basic sword tutorial. For this basic tutorial you need only a PVC pipe and EVA foam. For this I'm using a 10mm thick foam and we're going to trace our PVC pipe onto our first slab of the foam. I've cut them in long rectangle strips. Now we're going to take out our other slats as you can see and stack them together to see the width. These are four EVA foams stacked on top of each other and then we're going to take a pipe just to make sure that it's going to cover the whole thing. Now we're going to cut out the traced out pipe lines, make sure it fits inside and going to copy that into only two layers of the foam. These are going to be our middle layers. Once we have our two layers of the foam done, we're going to take our pipe, we're going to fit it in and then we're going to cover it just to make sure that all the adjustments are right. As you can see, the foam cover all the pipe exactly and this pipe is going to make sure our sword is not wobbly and it's intact. Now we're going to trace our pattern onto our top layer of the foam. This can be any design that you want. I'm taking a reference from Sif, Lady Sif from Loki, Thor, you know, the comics, you guys have seen it. But you guys can go with any design that you want. It can be hard to make an equal design on both sides. I'm gonna show you a trick a little while. Now that I have my pattern, I'm gonna cut it over only on one side of the pattern, the side that I like the most. Once I reach at the bottom, I'm gonna cut the pattern into the half and then flip it over. This way, I'll have the same symmetric side on both sides and I'll have my design equal. Now I'm going to cut it out and I have my first layer ready. Using the same layer now, I'm going to trace it onto the second and third and the fourth part of the foam. Just trace it down on, cut out the pieces and once you're ready with it, make sure you test it out with your pipe. Once all the four layers are ready, I'm going to glue them together using contact cement, also known as Ferricol SR. You can find it in your local hardware store. Now I'm going to glue in my pipe once I've glued all the three layers. And finally, I'm going to glue in, glue in the top layer, sealing the pipe and the foam. Your sword might look a bit thick right now, but that's alright because we're going to saw off the edges. I'm using a saw blade over here. If you guys have a Dremel, that's even better, but you guys can use simple sanding paper which I'm using right now. Adding a little additional detail on the hilt, I cut out a few designs on this piece of foam. Again, this can be changed according to the design of your need of your costume. Once everything's glued, time to gesso and seal the deal. Gessoing is going to make sure the paint comes really beautifully because foam has a habit of soaking in most of the paint. Once the gesso has dried up, we're going to take spray paint. You guys can go with acrylic paint, airbrush, whichever works with you. And then I'm going to add just a little one more detail on top of the hilt and we're going to spray paint the whole thing in silver and chrome. Now time for that little detail on top. I'm going to take red paint and just try to put on a little gem onto my hilt. As a finishing touch, I'm going to take a chrome sparkly nail paint and I'm going to paint the hilt part. A little bit dazzle won't hurt anyone and I'm going to let it dry. Looks like our sword is finished. Alright, so that's how it is to make a simple swords base. You guys can add more integrated details on the handle or maybe you guys can change the shape. Remember, you don't need to have massive tools. You can start with sanding paper. If you have a drummer, that works great. This was our basic sword tutorial. If you guys want to see anything else, do let us know in the comment down below. Like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit on that bell icon so you get notified for our coming up tutorials. This is Orin, signing off.